Ha, we're back. Apologies for that. We had a little bit of a technical glitch, so I'm not sure how much went off. Should I start again? Uh, let me start again, okay? So uh, basically, this is a pop-up group. This is not going to be around forever. So take as much as you can away from this group. And learn as much as you can. Everything is free. And um, I want you to do well in your business. I want you to implement whatever it is I am teaching you. If at any stage you have any questions on this video, you can uh, post it in the comments and I will reply. Um, if you're watching a replay of this video, you can um, also post it in the comments and eventually when me or one of my admins get to it, we will reply to you the best way we can. All right, so a little bit about me. I am a digital marketing consultant or coach. I basically help small businesses go online grow their business online, generate leads and sales online. I have been doing this for more than a decade. Um, I graduated here. I finished my trick here in Durban. Um, I got two bursaries to study sound engineering, one from Jacaranda FM in Johannesburg, or is it Pretoria, and the other from Edgar's. So I went into sound engineering. I could not get work here in Durban, so I left. I went to Dubai. I was a sound engineer for the Jumeirah Group which is all of the big fancy buildings, Burj Al Arab, Jumeirah International, and I did conferences and events and functions. I did the sound for them. Uh, I eventually got an opportunity with Dubai Eye, the radio station, to host a, a, a completely African show, um, which I turned down. I, I took a position in, in Saudi Arabia. I also have a degree in communications, so my position in Saudi uh, fitted in with my degree, so I went that route. I got an opportunity to to get into hospital healthcare quality consulting, so I learned that whole profession in Saudi Arabia. Um, met a man, got married. Oh, met a man, fell, fell in love, then got married, um, and had my first child in Saudi Arabia. And while I was in maternity leave, uh, I noticed there were a lot of expat women and Saudi women that had small businesses, jewelry making. Um, cultural foods, cultural dress, and I began helping this woman get their, their marketing message in front of the right audience in Saudi. So that's where it all started. I really got into it in Saudi Arabia about 12 years ago. And then I moved to Bahrain, and I was pregnant with my second child. And uh, Bahrain is a lot more free. The women are a little bit more independent, well, a lot more independent. And I started really ramping up my, my online game and helping those women go online. So I returned to South Africa in 2015 and I started my own consultancy here in Durban and uh, I focused a lot of international international clientele because that's where my skill is. So here I am, um, I started a series of businesses and I've done well, all of my sales, property sales, holiday rentals, um, I've got a bunch of online stores selling health and wellness products, selling um, clothing, everything runs automated. Uh, it seems like I'm doing a lot, but I'm not. It's mainly because I've streamlined the process. I've automated as much as I can. I only talk to people once they pay me. I know it's, it sounds uh, doesn't sound like the best, but to do as much as I need to do and have to do in, in my life, I automate as much as I can. So I hope to show you the skills that I have uh, that I have in, uncovered in this program, in this free training. All right, so the aim of this group is to show you the technology that is available to you and how you can utilize that in your, uh, in your workspace. Okay, I also want to uh, basically explain the breakdown of the ebook that I, that I have given you. Hopefully if you've read it. Um, it. It said a lot that needed to be done, so please don't feel overwhelmed. All right, um, there's a lot of content there. You can't do everything. I don't do everything. The goal is to show you the technology that is available. A lot of the content is on Facebook marketing. I get all of my sales, 100% of my sales from Facebook, from my various pages and, and e-commerce setups that I have. And I also aim to show you that how you can use technology to generate revenue for 24 hours a day. So basically, I want to show you how you can make money in your sleep. Like right now, I'm talking to you on Facebook, but... Um, my laptop is pinging because I have sales coming in, but I'm going to focus on you and not worry about the money that's, that's coming in right now. But before we get into the technical bit of, um, 
of online marketing. Let's talk a little bit about business and the key principles of business. Um, basically, in marketing class, what they tell you is that you got to have a, a vision for your business. So, uh, what is your vision for your business? All right. So, whatever your vision, if if this is your vision, um, this is your marketing plan, and, and it goes hand in hand. So, if you don't have that vision for your business, you're like uh, you're like a captain without a sail. And the wind is just blowing you back and forth and back and forth, right? So you got to have a vision for your business to, to take your business where it needs to go. Okay, if you don't have a vision for your business, you, you don't have a blueprint of where you're going and, and how you're going to get there. So before you even attempt uh, digital marketing, you got to have a vision where you see yourself in 10 years. Um, in five years time, where do you see yourself? And all of the activities that you're going to you're going to put into place and the plan that you're going to put in place needs to take you as close to that vision as possible. So even your everyday t tasks must be slowly t taking you a step towards that vision. Right? So if you don't have a vision for your business, sit down and, and get a vision statement together. Where do you see yourself? Um, where do you see your business? And from there, we can start developing uh, an online marketing plan for you. Right, the second, the second thing I want you to think about is marketing. And right, once you've cracked down on your vision or, and of your business, um, think about marketing. The function of marketing is to create demand for your service. So we're going to use digital media to create demand for your service. I know you in the the um, the hair and beauty space, and there's there's a lot of competitors. But what is differentiating you from your competitors? Why should people buy from you instead of your competitor? All right, and it's marketing that's going to create that demand for your service. All right, and and that's the component that I want to teach you. Actually, it's just one component of the of the marketing, of the marketing segment. All right, so a couple of you guys have asked me about the training that I have available, and my training is by by application only. It's called the Inner Circle Digital Marketing Program. Well, where we will sit together one-on-one, uh, -on -one, online of course, because many of you are in all parts of the, the country. And it's a six-month program where I will take you from beginning, uh, from foundation phase to a mid-level phase where your marketing is automated. All right, whatever level you're at, that's where we're going to start and we'll, we'll talk about that a little later. The third component is your back end, which is basically your retention of your current clients and nurturing of your of your clients. Remember, um, when people tell you no, they don't want to buy from you. It's not a rejection about you uh, or to you or your business, but maybe they're just not ready to buy from you now. But whenever they are ready, the first people or the first business they think about it has to be you. And we're going to create uh, marketing marketing solutions to make sure that you are, are on the top of that person's mind. Okay, whenever they're ready to buy, you are going to be their first pick. And that's where the back end comes in, where we want to develop those, those systems and processes. Another thing about retention is to consider the lifetime value of a client or LTV. Right, when you increase the lifetime value of the client, the less... The, the less new clients you need because if you can get the same clients that that buy from you more frequently and 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 more often uh the less time you need to focus on getting new clients and you spend more time focusing on on who you have right now and that that takes a lot of the burnout away just focus on your your key clientele and spend less time on new clients all right the next component is structures and systems so marketing online can now be automated, like I told you, all of the various things that I am doing. Um, most of it is automated. I only step in when it's time to collect money. So you got to, the aim of this business, or oh, what I'm trying to do is to automate as much as I can for you. All right. And the more, the more automation you have, the more time you have for yourself, the more time you have to, to grow your business, to spend with your clients, to spend with your employees. The first component of, of, of business is your team, the key people that you have in your team. For me, it's my lawyer, it's my accountant, and it's my, it's my technical team, my graphic designer, my videographer, uh, my uh, web designer. Those are the key people in the team. So know your key people in your team. Are you going to be doing your digital marketing yourself? Are you going to assign components to your employees? Know who, who your key 
key people in your team are. So in general, in business in general, whatever business it is, um, the key ways to increase revenue is basically to make money by increasing prices, which in South Africa is very hard to do because whatever price increases you go are from the government in terms of that. Uh, fuel prices pick up everything. So if you're going to add up, uh, add on your marketing, um, your markup, sorry, if you add on your markup on top of the, the mandatory price increase, where does that leave your customer? Are you still being competitive? So that's the first way you can be making more money is to increase your prices, which right now in South Africa is not the most favorable thing. The second thing that you can do is increase the number of clients. And this is where digital media plays a big role in generating leads and sales online. Okay, so you're getting more foot traffic through your salon or spa or beauty studio to get more clients. Another thing you can do, the third one, is increase the frequency of, of your current clientele. So even if you never pick up any new clients, if you can get your current clientele, and which is very difficult, almost impossible to do, so if you can increase the frequency of buys from your current a current clientele, you can increase your uh, your revenue. And that's where the measurement of the lifetime value of a client comes in. So do you guys know who your, who your biggest customers are? How often they come in? How much they spend? What's their average spend when they do come in? As, uh, th those key individuals you need to know. All right, so each one of these, these three points of increasing prices, increasing number of clients, and in, increasing the frequency of buys, each of them need their own marketing component or their own marketing plan. And as we proceed with the training, you can see which tools fit in where. So we're going to have six parts to this training. Today is the first one where we're going to cover websites and search engine optimization or SEO. Um, the, the next one, we're going to cover Facebook. Well, we're going to be breaking Facebook up into two parts because Facebook is huge and there, there's just so much potential. In part one of our Facebook training, we're going to cover Facebook pages, Facebook groups, um, using Facebook for customer service, and we're going to touch on Facebook advertising. All right, part two of Facebook, we're going to look at um, messenger marketing. We're going to look at video marketing. We're going to look at uh, Facebook targeting and fa Facebook retarget marketing. On our fourth session, we will cover e-commerce and video marketing outside Facebook, which will cover YouTube, IGTV, and um, a little bit of Twitter as well. And also messenger, me um, messaging app marketing, like uh, WhatsApp, Telegram, IMO, that space. Right, in the fifth one, we're going to cover the whole Google spectrum, which is everything, Google Ads, YouTube, the whole Google network, we're going to break that down. That's, that's huge. It's, in fact, it's bigger than, than Facebook. So we're going to spend one session just focusing on that. And our final session, we're going to cover um, building a sales funnel, where we use all of the components that, that I've trained you in and showed you the capabilities of to build a sales funnel to increase your clientele to increase your foot traffic and to increase your sales. So that's a uh, sales funnel building and structuring. Okay, so that's the roadmap. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create certain events on our group so you're aware of the times. My time, my time today was a little tight so I couldn't confirm an exact time with you. But the nice thing about Facebook is this video is going to stay there for as long as the group is up so you can access this video at any time. Our next sessions going forward, you will have a clear indication of the time. And if you choose to attend that live, it, it's totally up to you. So a little bit more about my Inner Circle Digital Coaching Program. Okay, that uh, enrollment starts for that on the 25th of October. The program actually starts in January. I know that um, the, the hair and beauty space, it gets very busy towards the end of the year. You have your year end parties, you have the Christmas season. In Durban is wedding season. I'm not sure about the rest of the country. It gets very busy. And in January, it quietens down, so I have your full attention. But enrollment for this starts on the 25th of October, so that's when you guys can start enrolling. It is, um, it is, um, you got to have a laptop to, to really get forward in digital marketing. So 
work on getting a laptop. You know, um, about 15, 20 years ago, computer literacy, uh, the classes that you took at school were, were just something that you took if you wanted to go into the IT industry. But right now, uh, computer literacy is compulsory for everybody because you can't get into the workforce without having some knowledge of computer literacy. And I believe that the digital marketing is, is, is going to be like this in about 10 to 15 years, where you can't survive in your business environment without some sort of online marketing skill. All right, and just like how you build a foundation or you, you build a house with a strong foundation, I believe that if, if you can get your, your business's digital foundation right, right now, in the future, it's, it's just going to be generating more, more income for you, especially if you're building a business to leave as a legacy for your kids. Because if you build your digital foundation right now, um, you're going to be heads and shoulders above your competition. And digital media levels the playing field. Uh, you can take your biggest competitor and you can, guys can fight it out online for, for, for clients. It levels the, play, the, the playing field and you can get it right at this point. And this is the value of the program that I am offering. So it's a six month coaching program uh, where I will help you take your business online. Uh, I will help you generate leads and sales and basically automate as much as the marketing as possible so you have more time to spend on your business. Uh, it's also to teach you how to do your own marketing. There are companies in South Africa that will generate leads and sales for you. There are companies in South Africa that will do your digital marketing for you. But I want to create um, critical thinking in the digital marketing front. I want to show you how it's done so you do it for yourself. Or, or if in the future you choose to have um, a digital marketing person or employ them full time, uh, it's totally up to you. I, I honestly believe in, in, 10, in 10 to 15 years time, just like how every business needs a lawyer and an accountant, you're going to need a digital marketing person. And if you can get it right now, learn the concepts now and grow in the learning phase because literally the industry changes every week. I'm on the phone every week to Facebook in Ireland uh, trying to figure out uh, the new rules that they've implemented and how I can adapt it into my business. Okay, I will work with you on whatever level you're at. So if you have a solid, uh, a solid foundation in your, in your Facebook presence and you have a, a website, there's still lots to do in order to automate everything. And when, when I go through the content, you'll see how much you have to do. And whatever level you're at, I will work with you. So if you have none of these, we will build it from scratch together. And I'll show you how it's done. So eventually, in, in a couple of years' time, I want you to use those same concepts and go and build another business and build another business and build a bunch of online businesses because you know how to automate it for yourself. Okay, enrollment is by application only, meaning I won't work with everybody. I don't want to work with everybody. It's a very laborious process. I will only work with about six, six individuals in this program. And uh, it's by application only because I won't work with two businesses in the same competitive space. For example, if you are in the Santon area in, in Johannesburg, I will only work with one, one business in that area. I don't want... Um, conflicting marketing plans going out and I don't want two of my clients competing in the same area with the same marketing ideas. All right, so that's that's another reason for the enrollment application process. Okay, so let's get to it. I've been rambling on for like 20 minutes now. Let's talk a little bit about uh, websites. All right, so if you guys have read through your notes, which I'm trying to open up, you would have seen, uh, I mentioned that, that a website is a new storefront. And if you have a website for your business, you know that it's a very expensive process because there's a lot of technical people involved. And, and because you have a graphic designer or a web designer producing your stuff or doing the technical but for you, it doesn't really mean that you are, you are in digital marketing. Remember, marketing is the strategy. It's, it's the... It's your whole game plan and technical people really don't do that. It's the strategists like me that come up with the solutions for you where we direct um, the web designers and the graphic designers and the SEO people and the copywriters into coming up with a uh, solid product based on the strategy that we develop. Okay, so if you don't have a website right now, um, 
don't worry too much about it. I highly recommend it, especially if you're going into the e-commerce space. It's essential to have a website, but um, it's not something you should rush into. Okay, go through this training, understand the capabilities of the technology that's available to you, and then decide for yourself whether you want um, a, a website or not. It's For me, I feel it's essential if, you, if you're looking into that higher-end clientele. It's very important to have. But if you're only servicing your, your, your local community, uh, your local surroundings, let's say in a two to three kilometer radius, radius of your location, uh, a Facebook page is fine. All right. I don't think that you should need to uh, fork up a huge amount for a website right now. There's, there's some great benefits to website, uh, a website, but uh, if you don't have it, don't stress about it. Go through the training and then you can decide if it's for you and your business model. I basically work with an international team of developers. I have um, people based in India, in Sri Lanka, and in Europe that I can call on to develop uh, websites for my clients. So for example, um, if, I, if I have a client that needs a website and needs the whole digital media setup where I can just hand over to him or her, I, I pull my team together. I got my graphic designers, my web designers, my SEO people. I get those team together. I work on the strategy and I delegate it to my team because the team, are, they, they're technical and more, and me, I am strategy based. All right. So don't 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 be confused by technical people. They're going to charge you a harm, uh, an arm or a leg. But the real bang for your buck is, is coming from a digital strategist like myself. All right. And if you are if you are comfortable in the digital space and you think you can build a website for yourself, which is not very hard to do, especially if you're using tools like Weebly and Wix.com for drag and drop solutions. All right, so have a look at, at, at Wix.com and, and Weebly. You can just eliminate uh, your technical person altogether and go that route. But don't do that just yet uh, until you've gone through my training. All right. Basically, the nice part about a website is that when somebody is Googling for something, if I want to know the nearest salon near me and I want to, I want to wash, a, a wash and a cut in a set, I'll go to Google and, I, and I'll search for it, salon near me. And whatever comes up on Google's first page, um, most likely the top three, one of the top three, that's who I'm going to. All right, and a website can do that for you. It's, it's, it's your storefront. When you are not there to, to open the door to a client, your website does it. Okay, so your website can have booking features. It can have e-commerce features. I highly recommend a website for e-commerce. You want to sell your products online. You want to sell vouchers online. You want people to do online bookings and pay online, you need a website for that. So a website can be used for all of those purposes. And the big plus is that it's open 24 hours. So if you're shutting down your salon or beauty studio at 5 or 6, your website is still up and running. And it can be generating you sales 24 hours a day. Now the key to a successful website is search engine optimization. Or like we like to call it SEO. Okay, huh. there's a bunch of you watching live, Sky, Masipo, Evangeline. Hello, hope you're getting some valuable content for this. All right, so where's my notes? All right, SEO, back to SEO. All right, SEO basically takes you to the front page of Google because if you're on the pr front page, or basically at least the top five, it's most likely that people are going to buy from you. It's very, very hard to get into the SEO space. In fact, uh, I have a dedicated SEO person in Germany. She takes care of all of my SEO for me. It's very, very technical, but it takes time to do. Uh, when I was in Saudi Arabia, I started, a, started up an airbrush tattoo business. I just started it for my cousins in high school. They, they could make some extra money. Uh, that business still generates me money now. Although my cousins, some of them are married and have kids and gone their way, that business is still with me. And because I have such a good online presence from 20, 2009, 2010, I still get business now. Like a couple of weeks ago, I was um, working at Stakinico. Oh my, Stakinico hired us out to do some airbrush tattoos for Venom promotion. Um, I don't advertise. I don't have a website. I don't even have a, a Facebook page. But my SEO back then, I put so much of effort into it that I can be found online. If if you if you um, 
Google airbrush, airbrush tattoos um, in Durban. Most likely, mine is the first. My my first. Uh, the first thing that you see is going to be my airbrush tattoo business. Okay, so if you do this well now, it's really gonna it's really gonna take effect in a few years time, and 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 that's when you're gonna really see it. In ten years time, whatever you establish right now is gonna come back to roost, and if you do it well now, you're gonna re see some really good success. Okay, and another thing about websites. Um, sorry, I'm jumping around a bit. The thing about websites is is content and engaging content. Um, you want people to always be coming back to your website. Um, so for them to keep on coming back, it can't be a static website to say, uh, this is ABC salon, uh, wash and cut is 300 Rand, color is 500 Rand. You know, it has to be engaging. Uh, the content needs to change all the time. Use a bit of video, a bit of animation. Blogging and blogging is huge. It is absolutely huge, and uh, it doesn't take much much effort to pull out your phone and do a two-minute video. And people will come back for that, especially if it's engaging. People will come back. Okay, so, so one of the nice things about a website, especially if you're working with a high net worth clientele, is that it builds credibility. Okay, so it makes you a little bit more legit, especially as time goes by. Uh, people can search how long your your website has been online, so they know that you're a credible company. You you've been online, and obviously, the longer time you spend online, the better your SEO is going to be. The more likely uh, you are to reach onto go to Google's first page. And like I said, it's also easy to set up if you're using Wix. It also cuts down costs because uh, instead of um, Honestly, I just see the online space just exploding in a couple of years. So instead of somebody calling your store and asking how much is is um, highlights on a long on long hair, um, they're gonna go to your website. I actually one of my past clients. I, I'm still an admin on her Facebook page, and up to today, and that was like two years ago. Up to today, people. Um, people message and ask how much for this and how much for that and nobody's manning the page because the business has been sold and they don't have any clue about online marketing so if you do it right it can cut your costs uh, it, it puts you in it, it puts you in contact with your your clientele uh, directly okay you can liaise with your clients directly it also improves customer service. We're going to touch on using Facebook for customer uh, customer service. More of the face, uh, customer service uh, function has, is being moved to Facebook because Facebook is more real time. And uh, the, t the technology is a little bit better and a little bit simpler to get your customer service done. So we will get to um, the customer service aspect on, on Facebook in a couple of days. Okay, it also makes your business accessible at all time, especially if you're going the, the e-commerce route. When I can't sleep, I go online. I check what I can buy online. I'm, I'm scrolling on uh, Take a Lot, and you want your clients to do that. You want to wake up in the morning and see they spent uh, 600 bucks on a bottle of shampoo, and your website allows you to do that. Websites are 24/7, 365 days a year. Okay. Um, it also allows you to target uh, target a larger market. Okay, Facebook is nice. It's great. But uh, Facebook is only one small component, well, a big, a very big component of the internet, but it's not everybody. So if you have a website as opposed to a Facebook page, um, basically you have access to everybody on the internet with a, web, uh, with a website. Whereas with a Facebook page, you can access everybody on Facebook. Okay, so that's one of the biggest benefits of a website. It's also a, a way to showcase your work as well. So. Um, you put your testimonies on there. If you have a new ha hairstyle, a new color, you take your pictures and, and you create a portfolio for yourself on your website. You can do the same with Facebook as well. So coming back to uh, search engine optimization, um, is very technical. Like I said, if you do have a website, listen to these few points on, on how you can improve um, your search engine engine optimization to make yourself be found easier online because when people are searching they're not searching for Yolanda's hair and beauty they're searching for uh, hair salon near me affordable hair salons cheap hair salons uh, innovative hair salons you know 
that's what people are searching for. Uh, those are called keywords, by the way. Keywords are important. We're going to look at it a little later. Keywords are important in SEO. So when we understand who your target market is, what their keywords are, then we can start improving your SEO. All right. And the first thing you can do, if you do have um, a, a website, the first thing you can do is to improve your loading speed of your page. You can do that by compressing your photos without compromising the quality of it. Okay, there's, there's online, there's online uh, programs you can use to do that. You just have to Google it and find it. All right. Also, you need to be co producing high quality content because you want people to come back. You want people to uh, share your page. You want people to pin, to pin your post on, on um, Pinterest. Pinterest is huge. It, it just, it just takes your, your SEO on overdrive. So wherever you have content, if you go on my page, yolanderose.com, you see all of my blogs. There's always a pin post. There's an ability to share my content. There's an ab uh, ability to retweet my content. Okay. So I have all of those features there to help my SEO. So when you, when, when you, when somebody Googles uh, digital marketing consultant or digital marketing coach in Durban, I want them to find me. Okay. I'm not there yet. Like I said, it takes years. Um, to get really, really, really good SEO, and it's based on keywords as well. But that's what you want for your business. When somebody is looking for uh, something affordable, somebody something relaxing, those keywords they need to find you and your web website. Okay, so so producing high quality content can that that can be shared improves your CEO uh, SEO dr drastically. Okay, so basically it's a, a web a web of links that that's being shared. Uh, online that improves your C uh, SEO. Okay, you also need to optimize your images. By optimize, I mean uh, use those keywords and name your images according to those keywords. Instead of uh, labeling a, a photo shampoo one, um, label it best shampoo for long hair or best shampoo for colored ha hair because the Google algorithm searches, searches those kind of keywords. So when somebody types in best shampoo for long hair, Google needs to tell them this is the best content for best shampoo with long hair and, and it needs to link to your website. All right, but the, all of this is very technical. Uh, it's a small things that you need to remember, but an SEO person, a professional SEO person is going to do this for you. You don't need to do it yourself. Okay, you also need to, if you're blogging, you need to break up your content, uh, use different kind of uh, font sizes, different kind of header tags in, in your content. Blogging and blogging is huge. Like I said, use tags, use keywords. And also outbound links as well. A lot of people retweet. That's why I have those tags on my, on my blogs. If you check out my blogs, you're going to find the retweets and share on Facebook and uh, pin it on a board. Okay. There's a long list for me to go through. I'm not going through everything because it's very, very technical and I don't want you to worry about it too much. So your website and your SEO go hand in hand. Um, and one can't work with the other, without another. So it's nice to have your website, but if you don't have some really good SEO, um, your website might not be able to, to provide the purf purpose that you need it to provide. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there right now. I'm going I'm rambling on for half an hour. Okay, I am going to put out uh, the, the dates and times of our next trainings. If this is something that you don't understand, please post it in the comments and I will do my best to give you an explanation or give you the best answer that I possibly can. All right, so this is stage one, episode one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you absor absorb the content and uh, we'll catch you in a couple of days. Have a good day.